Hey, welcome my YouTube friends. It's Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa Peter, and this is part four. We are going to continue our journey with our six by eight um, junk journal binder. So welcome, welcome. All right. If you're just now catching this um, class, I will put the link down below where I start, um, where part one is. If you want to learn how to make this or make one um, just like mine. Um, use my ideas. Um, this is, I do this for inspiration um, to help you out. I know a lot of you don't like doing the sewing aspects, so this is a great way to get around them, um, you know, sewing journal books and stuff, you know, junk journals. All right, so here's our cover page. And then we have some pullouts here. This flips. And um, we have some pullouts here. And I am using the um, Pink Monarch um, Prints um, Digital Collection. And it was made for a junk journal. So I'd, I'd, I'd just seen the paper and I just had to get it. I am not affiliated with, um, with her at all. I just seen the beautiful paper and knew I had to get it and, and try something like this. So then here I use these as a pocket and it's stuck here and here and then it has our twine and those go inside the pocket so then we have a pull out here pull out here photograph photograph well-defined areas for photographing journaling okay so this pulls out and then we have a flip and a pocket Yeah, my mistake there. I had these two pages stuck together somehow. <laughs> Good thing a photo is going to cover it. Then we made a couple of envelopes to put um, photo mats in. Then you have a pocket here that can put um, photo mats in. Okay, so we're right here. All right, let's get to work. I like to have my pages side by side when I'm doing this. This way I can see what's going on on both um, pages. Okay. So I think let's get, get these and see if we can find a flip out. I don't like the red on red. Who that is a flip up. Ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh, look at this one. Of course, that one flips the other way. I think let's use that one. All right, and when I cut them, I just left these here so I'd have them. These are meant for a little fold-up journal book, so I'm I'm using them as flip-ups, flip-outs. Is how I'm using them. All right, so let's score these. All right. Now you can reinforce these with washi tape. I did find some washi tape that I can use with this. So let me see. Let me see what it looks like. I haven't tried it yet. You know, if you want to enfor enforce these creases. Since they will be flipping, you know, back and forth. And I should have put, you I put some glue in there. For some reason I didn't do that. That's all right. And then just kind of refold it. 
and that helps we'll do the same thing with this one as well and then i'll probably go back and do my other ones and i didn't get that straight but that's all right that is a okay Alright, um, I want to ink these real quick before I put them in here. I'm just inking the inside just because it's white. And I'll probably put a black photo mat. This is why I'm not inking everything because it would take way too long. I mean, we're already into part four. So, now let's grab our piece of paper and let's scoot these over. So, I'm going to put this one at the top. I'm going to put this one. I kind of like that, and then we'll put a photo mat down here. Okay, let's do it. Well, maybe. We might. My glue is just about empty. on this one. Yeah, I think that's a... Uh, is it a Tim Holtz? I can't remember if that's Tim Holtz or if that's Prima. No, it's a Tim Holtz. I think can't remember i've had it for a long time long long time oops get my all right so we'll have that <coughs> so let's decorate Mm, love that. <coughs> All right. Oh, it's not straight. And just remember, a little glue, this um, art glitter glue up, a lot goes a long ways. You don't have to put on very much. I should have opened up my, my new bottle. All right, so there's that. Now, for our photo mats, I'm using my 24-pound um, photo paper. So for a photo mat, I'm going to go four and a quarter by three and a quarter. 
I need two of them. So I'm going to do my three and a quarter first. Then my four and a quarter. Okay. And do I want a black mat down here? Could add a pocket here, and that would kind of help hold everything down a little bit. I mean, we don't have it's on this side, so I'm not worried about it holding anything down, but we could. So, so if we put this here. That here okay and that photo mat goes here He and glue just, we do not get along. I like oil and water together. That's why I usually use my ATG. But since scotch ain't making it the acid free anymore. I'm having to use my glue. Because I don't trust glue sticks to glue everything down. I mean... And they might hold. I, I just really don't know. So if you know of a good glue stick. But yeah. Finding, having to find different alternatives. Because yeah, I've used my ATG gun for years. Now it's no, I can't get it no longer. You can get the quarter tape, but it's not acid free. All right. Now. I don't know if I want to put this pocket here, which we could. I almost wish it was a little bit longer. I do like that. Let's do it. Just gluing three sides. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that right there. I'm going to stick this clear to the edge. And then stick this underneath it like that. All right. So then this, whatever we have in our pocket, kind of holds that down a little bit. So let's embellish a little bit. Of 
How about we have a black strip there? Let's get a black strip. Let's make it um, half an inch. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to put this across here and just use my pencil. And this little black piece, we could put that there just as interest. This piece all right let's glue this down now There goes my glue pen. That's probably how I accidentally glued my other two pages together the other day. Messy, messy. I'm going to angle this. There. All right, so there's that page. And it goes on this one right here. Okay. So this other side is right here. Let's take all these other ones off of here and set them. All right. So. What are we going to do on this side? Maybe just a pocket. If I want to pocket that high, but that'd be a nice pocket. And then we can put a photograph up here in black to bring out the black there. All right, let's do this. So I'll give you a measurement here. Let me straighten this up a little bit. I think it's a little bit crooked. And I'm going to go... This one side's crooked. 
for sure. I'm going to go three and a half. Three and a half by five and three eighths. Jesus Louise, what's that? Oh, he's mowing the field. Crap. He's mowing the field beside me. So I hope you guys can't hear that. Last video, my husband was mowing grass. Today, mowing the field next to us. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to do a pocket. Let's do... Let me see if I can find. This is a journaling card, but we could put it down here and have another little pocket. Well, let's not use. Oh, I hope you guys do not hear that. Life of a crafter. It's always something. Yeah. Maybe make this as a... Alright, so now, let's go ahead... Let's go ahead and get this glued down. center it then we're going to put that on there So maybe that. Maybe that. And that could be, just glue this here. Go ahead and glue all this down. That's kind of a side. And then that way it'll keep the tags from falling out this way. Okay, let's do it. So let's glue this down first. So I'm just going to glue two sides. So I'm going to glue the bottom. And this side. So right there. Then glue this, but only this side here. Okay, now I'll glue this down. I just realized that both said Boston. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So 
So now we have a little touch spot. Now we have some just little, yeah. Then um, we can put a photo map up here. And do I want to do it black? All right, so I'll put a photo mat here. All right. Well, you guys can't hear that. That's pretty loud. All right, so that's going to go there. So now I'm going to flip it over to this page, grab my stack, and I have it set to where this paper goes here. This paper goes here. That's how I have this set. So let's pick up these. All right. So now, I think we'll do, I think we're going to do this. This piece of paper, this is the brown wrap. It is same as eight inches. And I scored it three inches. So it's eight inches, scored at three, and I believe it's seven, seven and a half. So what we're going to do, let me get this out of the way. What we're going to do, I think I'm just going to put it right up against the edge. And then see, it will have a pocket, and that needs to be scored or furnished a little bit. Now, if you want to use washi tape, you can. In fact, let's just do that right now. See if I can't get it straight this time. So I'm just going to put it halfway in. I'll just cut it off. Just center this here. So I'm going to glue three sides. Okay. Center it. And right along the edge. So now we have a pocket here. Yay. So now I'm going to use, I think, black for a photo mat now. Or, the second one over here looking at some of my scraps. Do we want a belly band? it's thinking well 
Yeah, let's just do a photo mat. My black paper. And I want one photo mat. So if we've done six and a half by four and a half. So let's let's just do four and a quarter by six a quarter. See what we get here. So that would be a nice big photo mat. Just like that. So let me look at our scraps. Can we put Wouldn't be able to put much in there, but um, let's do it. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to go five inches. Five inches. All right. Five inches. Let me cut that strip off. Oh, just a little bit too long. <laughs> the road less traveled. That's pretty cool. So if I stuck that there, I'll take take the scenic route. Now, is there anything that's just plain? If you could stick that down there. That way, you you know, you could journal on that if you wanted to. But I think it needs to be red. I think it needs to be red. <coughs> I'm a digging. There's a little... That covers up the whole thing. No, nope, I'm not liking that either. Well. Maybe we should make the photo mat just a little bit shorter. Maybe that's where it's where it's at. Something ain't straight. Put this piece in because I don't think it's straight. 
it's not. And maybe it's this piece. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it's a brown. I bet that edge right there is not straight. Bet you. Or maybe just leave it like that. You can always put the little red thing here in the middle. Can always put that right there and you still have a pocket all right so i'm going to get this on i'm just going to glue three sides it'll just be just a little tuck space Yeah, see that piece is not straight. That's all right. All right. So now I'm just going to glue the very bottom of this. Stick it to the pocket. I don't need my tweezers. Some of these pieces are pretty little. Okay, let's get our photo mat down. Oh, I'm only going to glue three sides. Only gluing three sides. I'm leaving this side open for some whatever we want to put in there. off the glue. Jeez. I left my wipes left my wipes open the other day and that got dried out on me. Okay now do we want to stick this here? That way we can yeah let's do. So glue the bottom I think my glue bottle is officially empty. Now, well, there's... I glued the wrong side. This side is supposed to be glued. I'm all the time doing that. All right. So I'm just going to make sure that I didn't glue down that pocket. So I want that pocket. And we have just a couple more little file folder things. There we go. We can also stick tags in here. Nope, that's too big.
Of course, you'd want to put a tab. You need to get some tabs on them. Because you don't want them to go all the way in there. So then this would flip. Now we have that. Okay, that's our paper on that side. I'm going to leave that for photo mats. i say we could put paper on it. Maybe this might be better just to leave it alone. We could put two photo mats and decorate, you know, just a little bit in the middle. There's a piece of luggage. That's kind of cute. And then when you put a photograph, photograph there. Okay, let's get this one down. So then let's get a couple of photo mats. So this one here is two and three quarters by two and five eighths. So two and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. And I said two and a quarter. Or two and three quarters, I think. That's what I said. So that would go there. And then this one up here is two and three quarters. So then you could just do your two photo mats here. Or you could do one big photo mat. I'm going to cut out this beautiful world. Maybe something like that.
So now we have a pocket here. <coughs> Put a photo mat, photo mat. I'm going to test this. I bet that is crooked. Yeah, it is crooked. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, so this side. I don't know if I just want to do a belly band. Or just do a photo mat. Because we've got a lot going on over here. Maybe just a photo mat. If we done a belly band, I'm thinking here, we could do a photo mat. Let's go. Let's go five by five. Five by five may be too big, but we can always cut it down. Yeah, five by five is too big, so let's go four by four. Oh, that's probably too small. Four and a half. If we went <coughs> I kinda like that. And see, this would help hold, you know, what's in the pocket. Let's go, let's go four and a half by four and a half. Yeah, that goes the whole page. And then we could put oh, there's another balloon. Yeah, I wish there was a little bit more embellishments. Um, you know, like this kind of stuff in here. I just wish there was a little bit more of that stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Find your path. I do like that. There we go. That is cute. I love it. Okay, so let's take this off. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to glue top and the bottom. And I'm going to glue more, probably like a quarter of an inch. That way we've got enough glue. Okay. And I'm going to try and center it. Oh, wait. We need to kind of have this here. Okay, got it. All right, so now we can glue photo mat. So I'm just going to glue the middle. So I'm just going to draw a line down the middle. Another line, and another line. All right. So this, this is supposed to be a little envelope. What can we do with that? So now you have a little tuck spot there. Let's get our little embellishments on. Yeah, I wish the collection, you know, had a little bit more um, like suitcases, you know, things to do with travel. I mean, it has, I love all these sayings and wordings, and that's pretty fabulous. Pretty fabulous. Okay, now I'll get this glued, and I'm only going to glue the bottom so the picture can go. I guess I should have. There we go. There we go. So there's those pages. And we'll um we'll make some photo mats to go underneath there. Alright, so where's my page here? So then that's gonna get glued down to there. So flip it over. Okay. There's our next piece. So I have this now. <coughs> All right. So now what we're going to do, what can we do with this? Actually, we could almost use it for a photo mat. trying to think how can we use this as a photo mat and a tuck spot hmm it's gotta be something cool we can do with this oh I see now a big belly band Okay, let's do it. So, I'm going to score right on this line. And score right on this line. Of course, we have a belly band on the page before. But maybe... We can put it on the next set of pages. So now fold on these. Make sure when it folds, that it's catching work right along the edge. Okay. There we go.
What's our next set of pages? I don't have no paper picked out for the next set of pages. I don't know if I want to belly band quite there. So black's going to go. Ooh. There we go. So <clears throat> I'm going to just flip this page. This is here. Then I've got black here and my red there. So this can go right here. And do we want to glue the very bottom? Then that way nothing falls out of it. Or we could just, we could score half an inch. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's score half an inch on this piece. That way we don't have to worry worry about anything falling out. Now we could put a photo mat on this if you want. Let's go ahead and glue this down. Probably could have cut that one tab off just a little bit. Just make sure you get the top glued good enough so it doesn't catch. And the tags may get caught on that. Huh? Okay, so I'm just going to center it. Now we have these big large tags that can go in there. That's kind of cool. Then we can put a photo mat down here if you want to. Do I have a little. I do have a little one. <laughs> I don't think I want to go too big with it, but at least, I mean, you can put a photo mat down here all right Just gonna glue the very bottom. Ah, crap. Hate that when that happens. All right, so that page is done. And you can put a photo mat up here as well. Yeah, see, it could go underneath there even just a little bit. I don't think I'll use these tags. I think we'll make some tags. I don't think, ooh, these could do some stacked pockets. I never even thought about that. Yeah, that could do a stacked pocket. 
That's pretty cool. So I'll put a brown mat up there. All right. I think this might be a good place to stop. Because I need to figure out um, what paper. Because we still got one more page here. And I only have a black piece. And I think I might have one here that's a little too short. I have to find it. So I know I had one that I cut just a little bit too short. Mm, crap. So we'll see, because I don't want these two colors back to back. And I really don't want them together either. So we had... Yeah, we made that page to go with that one. I'll see what I can do. I really don't want to print no more out. I just wanted to use just everything from one print. But I may print out. Okay. So that is it for this class. Um, I know there will be another two classes. One class to, um, and maybe just one. I could do a little bit longer than an hour. We'll finish these pages up. And then we need to um, go back and kind of, you know, do the photo mats. You know, and to go inside pockets and stuff. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will want to make something like this. Hopefully, I just inspired you. All right. We'll see you in the next video. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.